you know what? And now it's 20 years after, and I, it, no one said to me, oh, cut my jumper. I don't understand what he say. Uh, always, uh, we fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a bad you but uh, it, it's amazing on the training room, amazing on the pitch, uh, on the competition, amazing in the pub, amazing in the, in the nightclub, amazing uh, everywhere. Stuart Nettercock, crazy guys, this guy fucking crazy. He, he, he always sick before the game. To scream, come on! With the witch's house, you know. <laughs> I told you before, it's four or five bedrooms. Uh, it, it, it was uh, sometimes fucking busy there. <laughs> also on training on, you know. Uh, or fucking prick, and you <laughs> and uh, yeah. Get, um, I don't know. It's a beautiful jumper, a very expensive jumper. It's a classic jumper. We're going to go in three, two, one. Lions Lounge Lockdown, episode nine. Ole, 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 kinny, kinny. <laughs> Christoph, thanks Hi. for coming on the show, friend. Hi, everybody. Yeah, thanks. I like this song, you know. It's a long time ago, but uh, I really like it, you know. Um, yeah, you see, I put the shirt on, huh? It's yeah. Your, uh, it, it, um, uh, I want to say it's your present when you visit me in Belgium yep. two years ago. So um, I want just to say thank you to you and Tony Warner. You know, big time, big time we'll be watching. Yeah. Yes. Fact. Yeah. Say like two years ago, for those who may not know, um, you was in a car crash. You almost died. Yeah. And um, uh, you know, I'm very pleased to see I've been following your progress on Facebook, as have many other Mill fans that you, you've. You've almost made a, a very good recovery, and you're you're uh, much better physically, mentally. At the, at the time when we come to visit you, you were still brilliant personality, on brilliant form. But you're um, you're walking again now. Okay, is that correct? Yeah, is that correct? Yeah. Um, first of all, I want to to say thank you to the fans because uh, uh, you support me in the hospital. A lot of messages of, on Facebook, Messenger, and all that. So um, it's um, yeah. Uh, I can't I can't forget uh, you know because it, it was terrible and it's a miracle uh, I, I'm still here to talk to you now because uh, mm. I'm so close so close to to die uh, yeah it's crazy then was absolutely uh, brutal you know and mm. uh, but uh, after two years now yeah you're right uh, I'm I'm working properly uh, I stay seven months. Uh, in the hospital, uh, it's a long way uh, mm. to fight every day to 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 in the revalidation, you know, to to make sure, um, you know, uh, I can I, I don't want to stay with a handicap, so it's a long way to 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 work. And uh, but now, um, uh, yeah, I stay a few months with a wheelchair, with two sticks, one stick, and now I, I walk properly. So. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. You'll be back playing left wing before you know it. I don't think so, but <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. But uh, I, I, I let you just. It's uh, it's funny things. Um, uh, you know, I stay six six day in the coma, uh, and now when I wake up, uh, you know, I just move a little bit my finger, my feet, just to 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 just to to find if everything it's okay. Mm. And, uh, I see the, the the first doctor. He say, "Are you okay?" Uh, and I say, "Yes, I'm a legend. I can die." <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So obviously, we was we was going to the World Cup. We was planning to come and see you along the way anyway, me and Tony. And then obviously, I saw the news about your crash. So I I told Tony, and obviously Tony was genuinely devastated. So we we you know we thought. You know, we was going to, hopefully, there will be no interview, but we could still come and wish you well at the hospital. And then I remember Tony rings me, goes, I told you he's, I told you Christoph's crazy. So I've had him on the phone. He said, no, still come. I want to do the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so we we came and I'm, I'm very glad we did. As I said, I'm glad to see you're your, your back fighting fit. Yes, yes. Um, um, yeah, I, I, I told you it's, it's a terrible moment, very painful. Uh, I break everything, you know, ribs. Um, tibia, femur, you know, everything. I broke everything. Uh, 
Mm. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm, I fight, I fight every day. I think also my, my character helped me, you know, because um, when you, you, you make a sport, you know, um, high level, mm. uh, that help you also after a big crash like that, you know, and Definitely. it was not easy, but I'm still, now I'm okay now. Brilliant, brilliant. So let's move on to your Millwall career. Yeah. You joined the club in 2000. Yeah. From Strasbourg. Yeah, you're right. And you played, you joined the club for three years, but you done well. you really well remembered by fans and the fans were very excited that you was coming on today. You played 69 games for us, scoring seven goals. A big question that everyone wants to know is uh, how does a you know how do you end up playing in England? Was that your ambition to play in England, or did it come about by chance? Was there other English clubs interested? A little bit of, of the two part because um, uh, first of all, when I play for in my country, I signed my uh, first contract, professional contract. Um, I think I was uh, 19, 19 years old, something like that, and. Uh, you know, I start to play and I play well. I play for the under-21 national team mm. and I uh, have big, big ambition, you know. Um, but my first ambition is uh, to discover another uh, country, another competition, another league, you know. And um, after two years in three years in Belgium, um, I feel it, it's the, the time for me to, to move. Mm -hmm. And I have a chance to move because I, I play very, very good in the last season in Belgium and we win the... The Belgium Cup um, against Sunderland in the, in the final, and I score in the quarterfinal and semi-final and final. Mm. So it was a good moment, uh, good memories. But uh, after that, I have proposition possibility to move off of Bruges, Bruges, Standard, Anderlecht is the three big clubs in uh, in Belgium. But also Strasbourg was uh, one possibility, and Strasbourg uh, it's uh, it's a good club, nice club. Uh, it, it was just qualified for the uh, UEFA Cup. Okay. So it, it was, I think, a, a good choice. Um, also, when I'm very young on television in the 90s, 80s, 90s, because I was born in 74, you know, mm -hmm. so 80s, 90s, we have only French competition on television, not a lot of uh, English football, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so we. Uh, I always dream to play against Paris Saint-Germain, Marseille, you know, uh, big clubs in, in France. And uh, when Strasbourg called me, I, I say oh, directly yes, you know. And uh, I really enjoyed the first year over there because we play in UEFA Cup against Glasgow Rangers. Uh, we play Liverpool, we beat Liverpool. And, uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we win. Well, the first round, uh, we play Glasgow Rangers with... Uh, uh, I remember Brian Rodrip, um, Gattuso playing midfield, centre midfield. Yeah, the Italian midfield, like Gattuso, yeah. yeah. Gaza, you know, um, and Gaza also Gaza. So we win 2 1 home, and um, I remember in there, over there, it was a high intensity game, you know, and uh, Gaza, we win 0 one, 1, 1 1, and uh, 1 2, and Gaza. A run with the ball, you know, uh, directly on the last uh, 60 uh, yard box, and I uh, come from behind and in a smash, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I, I bring the red card, I take the red card, and but we win 1 2, qualify. So I, I, I miss the, the next game against Liverpool. Oh. Uh, I played the, the, yeah, because I'm suspension, you know, and, mm. and I played the. the the return, the match return, you know, uh, unfair. Anfield? Yeah, but we win home 3-0, you know. Oh. Yeah, I think I think Liverpool maybe think, oh, well, it's an easy game, you know, Strasbourg, mm. second round, you know, and we beat 3-0 um, with Macero and Robbie Fowler, Mac Manaman, I think, yeah. Uh, Paulins, uh played, you know, yeah. uh, big squad. And over there, we, we lose 3-0, but we qualified, you know, and... And I remember the last 20 minutes was crazy uh, with uh, Riedel. You remember, you remember the, the German the German player, Riedel? He come from Top Dortmund. Point Riedler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he's got fucking chance to score the three, the three nerve, but he did it. So, qualify. And we play Inter Milan next round. So, oh. we play Glasgow Rangers 
Liverpool and Inter Milan. May Inter Milan win the cup this year, that year, um, with Ronaldo, Diego Simeon, uh, Zanetti, Pabliuca, Bergomi, Jokaev. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we went 2 0 at home and we lost 3 0 in San Siro. And so I really enjoy over there. And uh, the year after, uh, also, uh, so I stayed two years and I signed four, four years contract. And uh, after two years, it changed the direction, uh, new chairman, um, new ambition. And so we, we have a very good player in the team. I think you know maybe. Uh, Olivier Dacour, he played for... Olivier Dacour played for Leeds at Everton, midfielder. Yeah, so yeah. he played central midfield. We played with Sushu Parek, he played the Euro 96 central defender, very good player. Um, yeah, we played with a uh, good player, Val Valeria Ismael. Ismael played for Bayern München. Um, and everybody's leave, leave the club on that right. time. So I won also move. And um, I have uh, a little bit... Um, uh, I had small worries with uh, with the sport director over there, the new one, and uh, so I want to leave my four years contract. And two two club uh, in France was interesting, but it's 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 a uh, it's good club, but nothing to do after the training, you know, nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. for for me it's very important. It's, if I leave my country, I need I need city where, where I feel good when after the training. Uh, can go out and drink something, nice restaurant, you know, nice house, a nice city, you know, I like a nice mm. woman, but okay, nice girl. But, you know, in, in Strasbourg, it's, it's a beautiful city, but uh, Sochaux was interesting, but it's nothing there. It's, uh, you know, only one fabric to, to make the Peugeot, you know, the Peugeot car. <laughs> and, and, and it's nothing to do there. So I say no directly. And, um, and yeah, a little bit of chance because uh, the, the sport director said to me, listen, we have a contact for you to, to play, to go on try for one week, uh, Aberdeen in Scotland, Aberdeen. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I say yes, why not? So I'm going to try. So I, I fly to, to Scotland, Aberdeen. And, uh, but uh, listen, it's a ni very nice stadium over there. Uh, good, a big club. I know it's... Uh, in Scotland, it's a, it's, a, it's a big club, I believe, with uh, Alex Ferguson, Mar McGee play over there. Yeah. Uh, Archibald, uh, big name, play for Aberdeen. But um, it's nothing to do there, man. <laughs> nothing to do. Not, not, you know, it's cold. It's a, yeah, so, yeah. And uh, uh, after the training, uh, I sleep in the hotel and um, I go for the dinner. Hello. Hello. No. So... I was just on the bar, uh, after a good, good session, you know, so one beer, <laughs> you know, you know relax, easy, easy. Uh, and I find uh, Ronnie Rosenthal. You remember Ronnie? Ronnie Rosenthal, yeah, he played the uh, winger that played for Liverpool. Uh, yeah. Israeli. He was from Israel. Yeah, Tottenham. Uh, and um, he was there, you know, he worked like an agent with another one. And he was there with uh, one player. So... And the agent work also in Belgium, so he recognized me. He said, ah, Christophe, how are you doing? What? It's unbelievable here in Aberdeen, this hotel, same hotel. You know, come with us, come dinner. Or, okay, we start to, to talk together. Uh, and he said to me, so uh, what do you want to do? You want to play here? I said, not really, no. But I have two years uh, more contract in Strasbourg, and I think I, I, I fly back over there. and." Um, um, be patient and see what, what is the next possibility, you know. Mm. And, and Ronnie said, listen, I heard something in, in uh, you want to play in England. And, okay, I say, I say, I play in France. If I have maybe one possibility to play in England, why not? You know, because, um, okay, it's difficult uh, because it's not the, the same language, everything, but why not? So he said, listen, back to Strasbourg and I call you back. So I say, okay. So I'm back to Strasbourg and uh, we play a friendly game. And before before the game, somebody said to me, the manager from, from the team, I have a good relation with him. He said to me, listen, it's, it's, it's someone from England here in the stand to, to watch you. I say, which color? He said, I don't know, but the, the guy is called Bob Pearson. Mm. I say, oh, all right, okay. So I play the game, I play, I play a good game. After the game, um, 
uh, a talk with Bob Pearson. He traveled to Strasbourg, you know, and he said to me, listen, you, you want to come in England to on try one week? I want uh, to show you the club. I want to show you the stadium. I want to, to show you the crowd, you know, the supporters. And um, I, I say, yeah, why not? I, I was open, you know. Um, so I think it's two, three days after I fly to, to, to London. Um, and uh, before that, I talk with the manager. I say, you know this club, Millwall? Because uh, I'm, I have a little bit of information, but not, not so much. So he say, listen, uh, I know the supporters is, is very special, but uh, I don't know really. Uh, you have to go there and find yourself. Mm. Uh, right, okay. And I remember, um, uh, yeah, my first game was uh, on Tuesday night. I can't remember exactly the game, but um, it was not so busy, you know, it's Tuesday night. But uh, the, atmosphere, the atmosphere, sorry, the atmosphere was, um, I feel it, were very passionate, you know, the, the is that, is that correct? Passionate? Passionate, yeah, passionate. Yeah, passionate, yeah. The, yeah. the, the, the crowd, mm. and uh, I see the stadium, the, the pitch, you know, uh, and the game, the, the quality of the game was completely different, you know, uh, more physical intensity, you know, mm. technical, maybe a little bit, you know. Less, yeah. yeah less, but still okay. And, uh, so I'm, I was very interesting, and I talked with both person, and I, I trust uh, what he said to me. He said to me, listen, uh, I know we are in League One at the moment, but the uh, ambition uh, for the club is to go up to, to play champions. Mm. And we need, uh, we need, uh, we need you uh, because uh, you have something, something special, different, and uh, we have a good squad with uh, young guys. Good, uh, with good uh, talent, um, and we bring also few players with more experience to, to do the, the, the good balance in, in the team. Mm. And I think if you come, um, it's, a, it's a plus for the team uh, because your ability, your technique, and probably help the team, you know. Mm. Uh, so, okay, let me let me a few days um, to, to make the decision because. It's not because I don't like the club. <laughs> After I think you you know I love the club and the supporters also. But that moment, I have to to, to make a big decision because uh, yes. I play in the League One. I have to 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 go on uh, on League One. But League One is third division at that moment. In England, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I have two 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 choice. I, I try to find one club. In League One in France, or back to my country in League One, first division, or, or in Holland. But um, I trust what they say. I say if we, we, we play for champions, and um, I say okay, I feel it. I feel it in, in inside of me. Mm -hmm. uh, one is in a very nice city, London. It's perfect, you know. After training, if you want to go out, uh, if you want to, if you like music, if you like uh, theater, if you like a restaurant, if you like to. To go in the pub and it's per just perfect for me, you know. Mm, uh, close. Uh, beautiful. So and the mentality, the culture, you know, and um, and, and also the squad, the quality in the squad. Uh, I trust really, really hard on that, you know. Did, could you speak English at this time? Nothing. Nothing. How, so how how did Bob Pearson communicate to you what he was saying? Uh, it was uh, um, an agent over there. Uh, oh. I can't remember, remember his name. He, he's uh, Portuguese, I think. He, he, he speaks French, so he translates everything. Oh, okay. Because uh, for the contract, uh, you have to, to be sure everything is correct and uh, you have to trust uh, when you sign something, you know. Uh, so, yeah, he wants one, pe one person there to translate to me. Okay. Yeah. So he came to England. So Keith Stevens was the manager. When you signed, yeah. Rhino, yeah. Is it? Rhino, yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah, and Maka, Rhino and Maka, yeah. So they was in charge because there you go. Because we asked, we asked Mark McGee if he signed you, and he said he he was he couldn't really remember because he's yeah. right on. He, he wasn't sure. He said I think you may have just been there. So it was definitely, um, mm. definitely Rhino and Maka that was your first managers at the club. Yeah, it was Rhino and Maka, and I come um, in the Mercato, you know, in January, I think. 
and uh, w- but the first few months I was a little bit. I play well. I play some very good game, but also a little bit injured. So I, I really start to play very well uh, in the next season. I think uh, after the, the the pre-season when we start uh, the season to to be champions. That's mm. I think the the moment I have, I'm really fit. You know. Yeah. Did you start to learn English? Immediately, or was that something you decided for yourself, or the club said you got to learn the language? Uh, no, I don't tell me that. Uh, but uh, I learned by myself. Mm. And <laughs> it was funny because when uh, I signed uh, and I travel from Strasbourg to, to 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 start to play, to start to training with the boys, I think you know, uh, on the country, you when you sign, he, he, you you. You take the taxi with somebody uh, drops you to to the hotel and you have a nice room you know and so I, I, I'm with my valise you know ba- baggage you know in the yeah. car and he drive he drive he drive on left on right on left on right I don't know where we're going and, and we stop and he say moment moment what moment moment he, he, he walks <laughs> on the door he, he you know talk on the door the door open I see big guys Big, really big, and uh, the guy said to me, "Yes, come, 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 come." The, yes, come, come. It was uh, Richie Sadler and and Robbie Ryan. You know, they live together. <laughs> live together. <laughs> and done. Believe me, he lived together. So, uh, oh, you li- you lived you lived in in Sadler's house. Yeah, because it it doesn't look like that, but it's just, I think it's a four or five bedroom. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so he said to me, "Okay, uh, sleep there with the boys, not too far from the turning ground." So. Take your time to to find a, a flat or a new house or something, you know. So I sleep there a few weeks or a few two or three months. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> uh, can you imagine? I don't speak English, and the guys come from uh, uh, the Irish guy, you know. You, you know the accent. What an introduction to to English life, living in Bromley with yeah. two Irishmen. <laughs> In, in the house of sin, in the house of sin. Yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. And I, I, I remember two things, no, three. Uh, first of all, two great guys. Good mentality. He tried to, to spoke to me, you know. He, he helped me, you know. But I, I don't understand what he say. I say always yes because, you know, I'm, I'm very nice guy, you know, positive guy. So I always say yes, Robbie. Yes, yes, Rob. Okay, okay, sad. Okay, sad. He tried to cook in some something for me, you know. I was laughing shit, and he can't cook. <laughs> he watch all the time Friends, you know, the the Friends, the the on television Friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Oasis music, Oasis or every day, every day. Oh, ah, he was, but good moments, you know. So I learned English like that, you know, with the boys in the changing room. It's very difficult because. Um, Mm, the boys are joking, you know, together. And yeah. Sometimes you don't understand what they say. Uh, you want you go out with the boys, not directly, not directly, because he asked me uh, all the time, you want to come with us, you know, uh, we go in the pub to drink something, you know, and I say, no, no, I'm professional. I never drink. I'm professional, you know. I want to be, you know, uh, he, but he don't believe me really, but... Um, uh, it, 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 when I when I go out with the boys, uh, yeah, I learn lots. You know, when when I'm, I didn't, didn't understand really, I drink two, three more more beers. You know, and it was perfect. You know, <laughs> with the beers, you understand everything. You know, yeah. <laughs> and beers, you you speak every run, language. You know, Spanish, German, English. <laughs> so, yeah, I learn with the boys, and um, I remember I take some newspaper and and I start to. You know, to 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 find something. Ah, yes, I remember this word. Ah, okay, okay, and try like that. You know, did the boys maybe for you know a joke teach you the wrong things to say at first? Sorry, did the boys teach you the wrong things to say at first, the wrong words? Yeah, I don't know if if it's you know between together if it's yeah, but you learn me. But also on training on, you know, uh, fucking prick, you <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, get, um, I don't know already. Pass fuck, me the fuck. fucking ball. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Yeah, for... <laughs> oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. I remember now. I mean, it's a long time ago, but I remember. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you, you know when you, when you learn a, a new language, it's the, the first thing you. you it's you, yeah. You um, it's called slang in England. No, it's not slang. Slang. It's no. proper, yeah, it's not like proper language. It's all the bad things. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were right. Yeah. That's slang. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember your um your Millwall debut, first game you played? Yeah, I remember. Um, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Of course, I remember. But uh, not everything. But uh, the first the first few months, uh, it was very difficult to analyze everything around me. You know, also the players. I tried to to speak a language, but I look everything everything. Uh, I want to know. Uh, exactly, uh, this person, you know, this player uh, analyze uh, football on the training ground, you know, on the pitch, because it's very important. Mm. Uh, the, the position I play, I, I have to feel exactly uh, the, the people around me, which ball you want, you know. So I start to analyze um, the, the, the two strikers, it's very important for the delivery, you know. Which body like, you know, in the feet, in the hair, for the header, everything. Um, analyze also the, the the people, you know, like the physio, uh, Jerry, because uh, I, I didn't understand what he say. You look always angry. Uh, I don't know why, you know. No, no, man, it's true. You look always angry with me. I don't know why. Um, uh, also, also the players, um, the personality, you know. Uh, mm. Big personality in the team, you know, good character, big character, and so I, I start to analyze everything. And um, in my, my debut, it's uh, it was good, very good. But I think uh, it was the the when we start the, after the pre-season, when we we play the season, when we be champions. Mm. Uh, yeah, I remember the, the the this way, this this time. Yeah. So when you joined from Strasbourg, was it was there a fee involved? Did Mill have to buy you? He buy something, but no, 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 not a lot of money, I think, but a little bit. I can't mm. remember the the, the the fee. Price, but um. And then Rhino and Maka, they they get sacked, and Mark McGee takes over. Yeah. Did, did things improve then for you personally, and the, the team definitely for you? Um, was did you think I've come all the way from France to join this team, and now the manager's yeah. changed? You might have a future, or. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I believe in myself. So it was really no problem for me to not to play with another manager. I, I, I find and I, I work with a different manager uh, before that. So it's it's more with for for the young players, you know, like mm. uh, Timmy, like uh, Richie, maybe I don't know because he, he worked with him before with Big Joe Dolan, uh, maybe for for them, but not really for me. You know, I didn't uh, really. Who, who, who is Rhino? I, I I know after when I sign, I know he's a fucking legend in, in for me. Uh, I I know I know his character is very strong. He he showed me his character. You know, in the next few weeks, uh, when I start to train with the group, uh, I, I I tell you just one story uh, about that. Uh, you know, in France, when we train, uh, we play small game. You know, and it's okay. Intensity is good. Technical, it's very good. But when we have uh, sometimes, it's also good in the challenge. But when we have a big challenge, so you, you you be careful for for other guys. Mm, but, yeah. And uh, it was on a training ground in Bromley, and um, the ball comes in the middle, and I run to the ball, and one guy comes face to face. I can't remember, who, but he run face to face, and ball is in the middle, and I stop. You know. I didn't go in the challenge, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and Ryan to stop the training, and he start. But I don't, I, I don't understand what he say. Uh, always uh, we fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a bad jump and bad And I say, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. I understand, you know. But he show me his character, and 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 I always remember that after because the English football, you know, on training mm. you have to do also the maximum. And, and the chance to give everything in a chance. So that was different for me. And I learned that from Rhino. Okay, after we changed the manager and uh, and we start with Mac McGee, I think Mac McGee come on the right time uh, because 
uh, I think the, the squad uh, would be not we not need to buy directly uh, some new players to, to start very good decision. Mm. We have uh, some young guys, you know, uh, um, like uh, Big Joe, like uh, Tim, like Steven Reed, like uh, Paul Eiffel, um, a lot of players, you know, uh, uh, Richie Salia, uh, Robbie Ryan. He, he have uh, a lot of um, uh, progress, you understand? Progress. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, definitely. And uh, so, with with the, uh, the, the 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 prayer with experience, it was very the balance was very good, and um, physically also because we have a very good preparation uh, before before the the precision in the precision we work hard physically, and I think all the boys was really fit, uh, very strong, and. Mm. And uh, yeah, when we start the season, we don't start very well. But when Marmagi comes, I think um, yeah, he, I think he's, he's very smart because he he, he filled directly uh, the changing room. You know, he mm. he filled directly. I think I don't know. Maybe I need to talk with him later and ask him the question. But I think he, he filled the 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 team have very good character. You know, yeah. big personality, strong personality. Uh, the young guys want to progress, want uh, to 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 play um, better level, higher level, oh, yeah. Or, yeah, high level, and everybody look on on the same way. You know, everybody look on the same way. Everybody want to 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 work for each other. You know, very hard. He work very hard for himself. Each player work hard for himself. To, to for his development, you know, to to make him better, but he worked for the team, and uh, we need uh, a manager like Mark McGee to show the way, uh, to make sure we work on the good way, um, to and I think he's very smart to, to also to, to 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 choose the player to to play. Um, to choose the player for to, to for, for the, the game, you know? for the yeah for the yeah, different positions yeah. Yeah, I think he's very smart. He he feel when the players uh, is uh, on top form and we, we change sometimes. Okay, you go on the bench. You, yeah. you you play today and you play two weeks. After two weeks, you you back to the bench and mm. and uh, you know the rotation was very very good. If he, he feel really good the rotation, but uh, yeah, I think we have a amazing squad. Amazing. Yeah. We are we are the best. He was maybe a bit unfortunate in a way that. You was you're a very good player, but on also on the wing, Stephen Reed left, and Paul I feel Rice to probably is you know two of the Lucas, best. Lucas Neil also play on the right side sometimes. Yeah, so it's, you, you was up. You had some good competition for your your where you played on the pitch. Of course, and uh, uh, the club was very smart. I think um, the uh, when we you do the formation, you know, uh, on the squad. Uh, it was very smart because it, you see the profile, the characteristic uh, on the every player as a little bit different on mm. on the, the key position. You know, um, I explain. Uh, if you look, my style is is not is not the the, uh, the ready style or the Eiffel style. You know, completely different. But um, um, we have a lot of possibility to 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 change the game. Uh, with the different style and, and and I think the key of the season is the, to to put the the, the, the the right man on the right moment, you know. Yeah. Uh, if you see in the back, uh, we have um, okay maybe the same profile with uh, with Stuart Nittercourt, um the captain, and with uh, Shandashi, uh, Shandashi, unbelievable, eh? this his voice I can't remember. Gravelly the. Uh, yeah. Nice Bonnie Tyra, man. You know, it gets off the heart. You know? He <laughs> uh, <laughs> talks like Bonnie Tyra, but it, I love this guy. He's a good guy. He do a great job. You know, I told you before, big personality. Look yeah. what he's doing now with yeah. Bernie. He do a great mm. job with Bernie. Fantastic. Uh, I follow him um, every year, every season. But you see in the back, I still need to go Shandashi, big, strong, okay. Uh, we were saw David Turtle. Um, who else? Uh, in the centre back. Joe. 
Big Joe, of course, Big Joe, Big Joe, great guys. I love this guy. Uh, Robbie Ryan on, on the left side, Matty Lawrence on the right side. Mm. All good right back, good left back. And we, we play with two center midfield, but you see you see the characteristic on the two center midfields. Uh, you see Timmy Kyle, uh, Levis, uh, Mark, Bertram, you know, uh, strong guys, good character, you know, run a lot. Uh, maybe it's possible for them to, to run two, two games. Uh, Directly, <laughs> yeah, it's a good volume, you know. In the yeah. And uh, and on 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 the wing side, you know, uh, on this system, because I have also to 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 make an adaptation because I play four three three in France. So when we start to play four two two, it's completely different. You have to run more, you know. You can stay to uh, higher. You have to to. Come back to work in the middle. You can you can leave uh, Levis and, and Tim alone to do, yeah. to do the job, you know. So and and, and we have uh, the um, yeah different possibility with the player on the wing side. But it's also the same with uh, with the players up front, you know. The striker mm. Moody, unbelievable. He looked like Ivan Drago, Rocky IV. He, he's <laughs> massive, you know. Big guys. Mo- Mo- uh, Paul Moody, yeah, he's big big yeah. unit. He, 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 look, he looks, he looks so so strong, man. He, he look so so. I, when I see him for the first time, I see this guy can't jump. He's too heavy, too too much muscles, you know. But he jumped, he jumped fucking high, you know. So I put the crosses for him, and he's coming, he's bang, he's smashing the board. Okay, easy. Um, Chapa, uh, Chapa, you know, different style, but Chapa, it's unbelievable uh, ability, you know, quick fit uh, to finish the action. He was. Fucking great, but you know, with Chapa, I analyze something with him. Maybe he's not agree with me, but uh, when I start to to play for me, well, I, I see this guy is so 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 much quality. You know, uh, right foot, left foot, very smart on his position. You know, um, in the six uh, the sixteen in the box, amazing. Six, yeah, six but, yeah. but but I think he's not so really good with his header. You know, to score. So I work out myself on the train run to, to, to make uh, better crosses for him, uh, corner and free kick also. And uh, I remember when we started the, the, the season when we champions in League One, see, he scored he score a few goals uh, with my free kick against Fancy, I think, against Wycom, or I can't remember exactly. But yes, with him, yes. But uh, See the strikers we we've got it's just unbelievable. Uh, Richie sadly was a a bit sad was a better uh, striker than he was a, a cook. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so for him. <laughs> I mean, definitely yes, yes, of course. Uh, Richie, Richie, uh, you know when when two guys uh, um, bring bring you uh, in his house, look after you. He was younger than me, you know, and. Uh, I see Richie work hard on the train run to to to, to make him better, to make him strong, you know, to to play a high level. He he, he was really brave, brave, you know, brave. Yeah, brave. And, and uh, for me, when Sad was fit, uh, it was unstoppable. He was mm. really 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 good, so good, perfect striker. So yeah, him. Him and Chapa together, and Moody and Steve Carwich. Oh, I forget, <laughs> forget. But he come later. He come later. Yeah, he come later. Yeah, obviously. But uh, so it's, it's fair to say that um, you felt you'd made the right decision to join Millwall. You was enjoying Millwall from from day one. For me, yeah. yes, of course, of course. Uh, I never regret, never, never my choice. You know. Yeah. I have to, to think before I say yes, because when I start something, I want to do the job uh, really well and I want to, to give 100% of myself, but uh, I never forget, uh, I never regret, because uh, because it's in, I play in Holland, uh, in second division, and we go we go up, uh, we play Ajax, Endoven, Paisley, I win the cup in Belgium, I play UEFA Cup in France, um, I really enjoy it, you know, it's good memories and also I keep in touch sometimes with few players, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, what, I, what I do and what I, 
uh, I find uh, over over there in Mirror with the boys. Uh, it's just unbelievable, amazing, amazing, amazing for everything. Amazing on the training ground, amazing on the pitch, uh, on the competition, amazing in the pub, amazing in the in the nightclub, amazing uh, everywhere. You know, every everything we do just perfect you know yeah when like me when because it's my philosophy you know you have to enjoy when what when you do something you have to enjoy you know uh, you have to be correct uh, to be honest and so you you are it's time you have to to be smart to to uh, yeah one time for working one time for 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 joking one time for drinking one time you know you have to make sure you have get good the right balance. balance yeah if the balance was not good it's because sometimes i drink too much you know <laughs> sometimes uh, can happen you know can happen. <clears throat> but uh we give everything on the pitch together we are fucking big big uh, solidarity uh, we, we work hard for each other and uh i, th I think it's the, my best experience but not only um for the football but also um, team spirit. Yeah. Well, that, that team spirit, you said like um, the football side's very different in England to France yeah. and the type of training is very different. What What about the antics of the players? We've heard lots of stories about nights out on your jumpers getting cut up with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's mighty, but I think the boys uh, have to read the book. Because uh, it's uh, so so many stories, you know, so many mm. things uh, to explain. Uh, I think you have to read the book and and, and sell the book, and I think uh, uh, people buy the book because it's, it's crazy stories sometimes. Mm. Can explain everything, you know. Uh, can explain everything, you know. It's too too dangerous. Uh, Richie's house, Richie's house, it's like a Vegas. What uh, happened in Vegas? Stay in Vegas, you know. <laughs> it's the same. With the witch's house, you know. <laughs> I told you before, it's four or five bedroom. Uh, it, it, it was uh, sometimes fucking busy there. <laughs> yeah. But it's ne it's necessary, you know. Uh, no, but it's necessary because if no, no, it's necessary. We have a drinking session sometimes with the boys, and and uh, it, we have. You know, we play Saturday, we play Tuesday, we play Saturday, we play Tuesday, we work out on training ground, believe me. And uh, we, we, we work out. We, we, we can be champions like that, you know. We have to work out to be champions. So, mm -hmm. and to play in the championship, to play the playoff in the championship, and nearly promoted in the Premier League. So, uh, believe me, it's very hard. The boys mm -hmm. work out for that. But you have to, to, to be relaxed sometimes, you know, to enjoy yourself, uh, to be together. If you, if you can do that yourself, you go in a restaurant with your girlfriend, with family, friends, family, you know, but we, we stay together, we like to be together, you know, uh, uh, Timmy is li live in Bromley, Richie and I live in Bromley, I live in Bromley, um, uh, Lucas Nino live in Beckenham, if I remember, uh, only li live not too far away or so, you know, it's, so, so we, we, we like to be together, you know, boys come in Bromley sometimes, what's the, the name of the, the, the bell, the pub? The bell, the big, yeah, it's gone there in Bromley, yeah. Yeah, the Lana small fucking night. The Lana was, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the guys on the security guys, but Roger, because, uh, Roger, I say, yeah, Roger, are you doing Roger? I remember this guy, and you know, but it's necessary to 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 sometimes you know the cooperation and, mm. and stay together, have a good time, you know. Uh, we 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 look like a little little family, you know. Yeah, well, the season that we got promoted. You managed to do something that not many people have done for me. Well, you scored a hat trick against yeah. Northampton. Yeah, but it's not in the in the no, league. In the league. Yeah, no, it's in the yeah, it's in the cup, the um, league cup. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, I remember. I remember. It's still, yeah. still a good achievement. Oh uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> no, no, no! Because uh, I nearly missed my penalty. It was an uh, ugly, ugly penalty. So I'm not, not happy with that, but. Yeah, score three goals is always good uh, when you are a winger, you know. And uh, but uh, no, for me, for me, the achievement is just um, 
I prefer I prefer the goal against um, Coventry. Coventry at home. I scored a free kick for the two-two. We just what we lost one-two. I scored two-two. We win three-two. It was crazy, crazy night. Uh, yeah, no different moment because it it was in the cup. It was not in competition. It was it was good for me for for Personally, confident. Yeah. No yeah, confident. Yeah. No, but prefer in the the league. Score in the league to go to give assist. You know, it's very important to, for me. Uh, a very nice assist is like a goal. You know, the last pass. Uh, I prefer. You said um, obviously you got on very well with everyone at the club. He was like one very close family. Did you have like a best friend at the club? I know you you, you was quite close to Tony. Yeah, Tony. I really liked him. Uh, all the players, I, of course. All the all the all the players. Um, I'm a positive guy, I think, and uh, I like to to. You know, I'm I'm not. I like sometimes to look a little bit crazy, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not crazy. Uh, I explain you for what because you have so many, so many leader in the team, leadership. Yeah, so many players of the the leadership. You know, but look, uh, Daishi, look now, Stephen Reid. He was young, big character, big jaw, big mouth. You know, always blah, 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 blah. you know, big yeah. personality. Tim, ambition. You know, work hard, big personality. Uh, Livermore. Don't talk too much, but big personality on the pitch, yeah. you know, leader on the pitch. Uh, Chapa, you know, score so many goals, he's, he's the man, you know, he's the man, big personality. Uh, Stuart Nittercott, crazy guys, this guy fucking crazy. He, he, he always sick before the game. Well done, it's serious, my, he, 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 I never see that in my life, you know. I was uh, just sit down in the changing room, waiting for the game, you know, concentration, you know, feel good. And I heard something in the toilet. Wow, he was sick, you know. And when they finish, he closed the door, man, very hard, you know. He started to scream, and, come on! With his eyes, red eyes, you know. He, and he wants to check my hand. He said, You wash your hand, you, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, when, when you heard that, when you in the changing room and you see mm. the captain, you know. Um, when you do that, when you come back in the changing room and you see his face, you 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 you're not the same anymore. You you want just to go out with the boys and to smash the team uh, on the pitch, you know, and to win mm. the game. That, that that's why I say we have uh, a lot uh, of personality. So my personality was different. Uh, I can't speak uh, properly English. Um, so I want just to go to to to. To be the, the man, she's always smiling, you know, positive, uh, make joke, uh, accept that, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I see yeah, a lot of story. When he cut my jumper, I cut, uh, you know what, you know, it's 20 years after, and I, it, no one said to me, who cut my jumper? I think, I think <laughs> it's Bertram, I think it's Mark Bertram, I think. But I'm not really sure. But it's it's, it's probably him. Lips are sealed. No, I think you know. Oh. <laughs> I think you know. Well, I, think, I think they said they all had, they all had a little turd at cutting. Yeah, you see, he said a jumper, but uh, lady, uh, hey, Matt, it's not true. You know, it's a beautiful jumper, a very expensive jumper. It's a classic jumper, <laughs> like, like like we like in France, in Italia. You know, Nico Fori. But he don't like it. He don't like my jumper. He, I don't know. It's not the the same fashion, you know. And uh, he, he cut my jumper. And I uh, remember I was angry. I uh, crossed the pitch to to find Tony, you know. But he's bigger than me, so I take a, a flag, you know, corner flag. <laughs> yeah. So I, I say to to I say what what I fucking no man. I want to to fight with him, but I have to to bring something with me because I'm too too small. <laughs> yeah. I say, I think everybody remember that, but oh, everybody... that, was, that was all part of making. Although it probably cost you an expensive jumper, it was all part of making a great atmosphere between the squad. Yeah, well, um, what when we go out, you say? No, when they cut your jumper up, those sort of those sort of jokes around the changing room, not just on you, on everyone. It's all part of the um, togetherness. 
Yeah, because everybody rocked me, you know, when I crossed the two pitches, everybody's well, like, damn, what, 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 you know, he's, he's fucking angry, look, he's fucking mad. He, 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 he walked two pitch with his corner flag, you know, everybody's watching, he's laughing, you know. So when I come back, everybody's looking at me like this, you know, everybody's laughing on me, you know. Ugh. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the game, you know, you have to accept yeah. that, you know. Everything is different, you know, so this never happened in France, of course, never, yeah. never. But that we enjoy it. We, 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 you know, we like to joke together. Yeah, we like exactly, to joke yeah. like that, you know, all the yeah, time. Yeah. So it's funny, you know. It's good for team morale. You, you know, in England, I, I never heard before, but when uh, I start the first day, somebody come and, and bring my shoes to wash my shoes. A young guys, mm. you know. Clean your boots. Yeah, it's tradition in England, you know. Uh, the, the young boys have to wash. Yeah, the apprentice, they have to clean your football boots, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But I didn't know. So I think he went to, to my shoes, you know? <laughs> so I run after him. I say, hey, you fucking f***ing me. What are you doing with my shoes? I say, I want to wash your shoes. Why do you want to wash my shoes? It's my shoes, you know? And he, 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 the boys explained me, listen, in England, it's like that, you know, it's a, it's a rules. He have to, 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 you know, he give you back. He wash for you properly. Yeah, I say, oh, okay, okay, fine. You know, things like that. Very different, very different. We won promotion. Um, how did that feel? Brilliant, brilliant feeling, brilliant celebrations. Brilliant, yeah, because uh, it, it was not easy to, to, to be champions. We work hard and, and I think uh, we deserve that because um, we are the best team. Uh, we show that on all, 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 all the season. And we finish it uh, uh, unbelievable, very, very strong. You know, we when we we start, um, uh, I feel really uh, the, the 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 power in the team. Um, when when we play away, with sometimes also because it's difficult to to win uh, the games away. I remember when I score uh, with Bournemouth, you know, the, ch the cherries. Bournemouth, yeah, Bournemouth. Bournemouth. I score no one, and German the four score one one, and uh, Aris Chapa um, Chapa scored the one two, and, mm. and we have the, the 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 character to do that. Um, Steven Reed do that also. Uh, I can't remember where I played with ten men and score. I think I can't remember the, the game, but um, we we have the the uh, the quality and and the, the the power to do that also away. You know, mm. away game. Uh, we I think we is that decision now against Reading. Sorry, Reading, Reading away. Reading away, yeah. We we win a new tree, you know, uh, half time. Yeah, and then, yeah, four three. Eventually, we won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, I think I think we we deserve to 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 be champions because we have the best the best team. Mm. You know, and. Uh, uh, what I like it is just um, sometimes we, we, we have the frustration. Uh, I, I talk about for myself frustration to 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 be uh, on the bench, you know, for the mm -hmm. game, uh, and to leave the the, the the place for another player, you know, like Stephen Reed, uh, Paul Eiffel, um, and and but we play for the team, you know. So it doesn't matter. So it, it, of course, we want to play. Of course, we are, we have to be. Ambitious and want to play, yeah. And and, uh, and there's a work like that, you know. And nobody is jealous, you know. Jealous, is that right? Jealous. Yes, correct. Yeah. Um, for another one, so I, li I like the, the 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 way we 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 play. Um, I think we we play very well. Uh, we, we play a very nice football. Um, we. We have to, the, we have the strikers uh, to make the difference. Also, right? it's very important to uh, to have a striker score 20 goals or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, we have that in the team. Um, so yeah, in the last game, at the den, you know, I can't for them. Uh, it was crazy uh, to see to see the the, the, the fans um, to to do the big party with us. You know, it was. Um, together, you know, yeah, very good. Together, 
it was brilliant after the party after it was also really good and yeah we can forget uh, the, the, the that woman that's for sure mm. that's for sure yeah and then the following season like I say we almost get promoted into the Premier League yeah um we was unlucky not to get promoted again but then it says um I didn't know this but I checked uh, your Wikipedia page and it says that you left in 2002 but then you came back shortly after yeah is that right? yeah is that, is that, I, don't, I don't remember that it's correct because um, we, we we champions are play one season and after um, say in, in English uh, release it release it release yeah release yeah. Um, Shandashi Mark Burcham and me uh they say a uh, problem, uh, money problem, you know, mm. uh, with the, the with the television, you know. Uh, well, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, a lot of people said about ITV this. Yeah. ITV or something. Like that's that. it. Yeah, ITV digital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. So, um, so he say, okay, we released the, the contract, and um, it was uh, very, very, very sad, and it was uh, not really good news. Uh, I think for for Sean, but also for Mark because Mark uh, loves the club uh, a lot and uh, mm. love the boys and the guys and the squad a lot. M me too because I, um, I was not ready to to leave the club in my in my mind. Uh, my mind uh, want want to, my heart want to stay there. And uh, but that happens sometimes football. So I'm mm. back to Belgium and uh, waiting for some different possibility uh, to to find another club and. Um, and a few clubs uh, asked me uh, to to come to play in Belgium, and I say no, I want to wait a little bit, uh, a bit. And my agent uh, uh, tell me it's one club in England, very interesting about you and your quality. Um, I say which club? He say Wimbledon, Wimbledon. So um, I say yes, why not? Uh, so I travel to uh, again uh, to to London and. Um, uh, I started training with, uh, with Wimbledon. I, I nearly signed for Wimbledon, but uh, something was broken. I really want, I really want to, to, to continue in England, but um, not another club, you know. Um, um, uh, but okay, it's football, and I say, why not? Wimbledon, okay, but uh, not really happy. And I think a few days before I signed for for Wimbledon, uh, my agent called me and said, listen, Millwall wants you back. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this, man? I, I jump, I, I jump, I jump uh, in my living room, I jump in my living room, I was so happy, like in celebration, like I score. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, 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 you know, see, just come back, see the boys again, uh, the, the the crowd, the fans, the pitch, you know, and mm. uh, everything, you know. And, um, um, it was a, a, a sad, really sad when I when I heard I can stay in the club. But it mm. was just amazing when I have the the one the, the opportunity to come back. It was so great, you know. Uh, it's great. Oh, so how how long was you gone for? Not very long at all. No. How long between me releasing you to bringing you back? Yeah, what's uh, it was a holiday, holiday, pre season. Yeah. So, um, uh, I start to, to to train with uh, a small team uh, in my country just to keep um, myself fit and uh, just to make sure if uh, one club come uh, I'm fit to to play directly and uh, it was uh, Wimbledon I was not that's not really what I want but uh, when Miro called me it was I think he lost to, the result the result was not really good when he, he started the season and he lost a few games I can't remember exactly and. I don't, I don't know really why he called me back. The reason I don't know because just two months or three months before it was finished and yeah. I'm back, so difficult to to understand everything, you know, and football. Mm. Stuff. But uh, doesn't matter. Uh, just back and that's it. They said they give. You, did you give you, um, a one-year contract the second time? Yeah, yeah one-year contract. Yeah, and um, and I and I leave the club. Um, I leave the club and I'm back to to Belgium, and um, and I move again uh, after that in in Holland and I play for Sparta Rotterdam. Mm. And I finish my career when I start 
the, sta- the, the club I start and uh, you know um, and that's it but um, uh, when I leave I leave the club uh, but not uh, with no trouble with anyone no trouble with uh, the direction no trouble with the manager no trouble with the boys no pro- yeah no trouble with it. well this this happened you know football uh, it's like that you know, sometimes you you have to leave and uh, and that's it you know uh, I have also a girlfriend and she's pregnant, so she wants to birth him in, in Belgium. So mm. she wants to, to stay in England because uh, we always gone, you know, uh, hotel and uh, always traveling. So we want to back in Belgium. So it was a little bit difficult. The decision, was, the, decision or the, the choice was difficult, but it's happened. Yeah, it happens. What was your best, if you had to pick one... Uh, one good memory from me, or your best memory? Could you pick one? Um, mm, difficult. They are difficult. I think. I think. Um, no, because uh, it's so many games. When we champions, it's so many games. Very important to be champions. You know. Uh, um, but I think the last game, I did start the game, but just for the atmosphere. It, it was just well, a big feast, you know, mm. crazy. Um, uh, this this game stays special for me. It's not the the, the 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 difficult one or the 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 crazy one, but uh, just yeah, the memories was very good. So, so you had you had some good um, some good encounters with our fans then. But listen, uh, it's very important for me. Uh, and not only uh, for for the fa- for the for the mirror fans, but you have to respect uh, all the fans around the world, because he worked hard in the week. He worked hard uh, to uh, sometimes to find uh, the money, because it's also uh, they cost a lot of money to, if you want mm-hmm. to travel, if you want to 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 watch every game, you know. Uh, sure. and you have to 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 have a big respect uh, for. Y- they work uh, all week and Saturday afternoon or Sunday anyway. Uh, when you play, you have to give something to, to the fans. You play for, for them. I always play for my team. I always play uh, for the club, of course. But I don't really play for the direction or for the chairman. I get a fuck. I, I, I play for the supporters. You know? I remember Timmy, Timmy because I, I'm very close uh, at that moment with, uh, with Tim, Kyle, because we, we, we leave... Uh, uh, there together, and he said to me, "Man, you're crazy. When the fans start to sing your name, you you stop to play, and you you clap your hands." <laughs> <laughs> I say, "Yeah, why? Why not? Yeah, if the ball come, don't worry for the ball. If the ball come, I'm ready to 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 play. Don't worry. But it's it's important for me to to clap, you know, uh, you know, and to say to say thank you for the fans because we play for them. We play for the team for the result because it's very important. You." We, Somebody pay you for that, you know. So you have to, to give in the return. Mm, but, uh, you have to give also. You are an actor, you know, uh, for one hour and a half or more. You are an, an actor, so you have to give something for the fans. That's why yeah, some yeah. tricks, some some something special, you know. That's why I, that's why I like to play like that, you know. Yeah. I like to play because the fans are like that, you know. Yeah, you exactly. You need you need the robot, you know, robot, you know, the mm. voice, you know. Player like this, but I like to be a little bit fantastic. You know? mm. Your um, your your attitude and your minds, your um, your idea of how it should be played, and you play for the fans. That's perfect for Millwall, you know, perfect fit. That's why I feel it when I, I watch uh, my first game on a Tuesday when uh, I accepted the invitation to watch the game, my first game. Uh, I, I told you, I see the the, the is passionate in 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 um. I like it. I really like it. So mm. I, I know if I if I play well, if I give good cross, good de- delivery, uh, good free kick, good corners, uh, if I score great goals, if I if I do some good tricks, um, good passes, my vision, I know I know I know something happened over there, you know, mm. and uh, yeah, the, the 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 time give me reason, and the boys and the squad and the team and the quality of the team give me reason. Brilliant. Well, Christoph, thanks for joining the show. Yeah. It's been absolutely brilliant. And I'd say um, the fans loved you. It just 
showing from our, our end and yours that you didn't play for the club longer because um, you was very well received and you adapted to English life brilliantly on and off the pitch by the sound of it. So um, thanks so much and I'm glad to see you well. And as I'm sure all the fans will be very happy to see you're uh, in much better condition physically, but as always, um, brilliant personality. And uh, it's been a pleasure, mate. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I promise you to, to, to back in, in the then uh, um, in the next few months, if it's possible, it will next year. But I promise to, to back as soon as possible. Mm. And uh, I would like to say again, uh, thank you for, 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 for the, your support. And... Um, when I play, of course, but I want to say also thank you for your support after my accident. It was also very important. And um, I think when you are alliance, you, you stay alliance for, for all your life. And I'm a part in alliance, I think. And, and um, yeah, I want just to say a big thank you. Say sorry also for my English. Um, no, I, your, your, English I, is, your English is perfect, I, don't worry. I'm a little bit scary before the interview because uh, it's a long time ago, and I really tried my best. And um, I also say hello to to the boys, um, yeah, because I know sometimes he, he like to watch uh, um, the video. So mm. uh, I want just to say uh, thanks also to the boys, and and I hope to see everybody soon. Uh, it's possible. Brilliant. Thanks again, Christoph. Top man. I'll see you soon. Perfect. All the best, mate. Thank you. Take care, everybody.